the collapse could release 50 cubic meters of water into the Kotsnaela River. The North Central Zonal Coordinator of the National Emergency Management Agency, NMA, Alison Aliu, says the agency is prepared for the imminent collapse of Lake Nyos and the potential disaster it poses to Banu and other states in Nigeria. According to him, experts have predicted that the lake, which is also a volcanic dam located near Nigeria's border with Cameroon, would eventually collapse by 2015 and could release up to 50 million cubic meters of water into the Kotsnaela River, flood Banu and Taraba states and release a lot of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. NAMI has installed warning signals in Kashyambila to warn people of the possibility of a flood and advise that they be wary and ready for the lake's collapse if it eventually occurs earlier than a 2015 date, Elia said. The warning signals, a kind of scientific installation coded in several languages of the communities, inform the residents about the impending flood and forewarn everybody to immediately leave the river bank. This alert system enables the people, particularly those downstream, to get prompt information so that their evacuation can be done as quickly as possible in the event of any flood passing through the communities. He also said that NMA has very capable staff undergoing a lot of simulation work about flood, fire and any other aspect of disaster. The NMA official explained that the lake's basement was weak and could collapse at any moment. He added that southern states of the country, particularly Cross River, were also likely to be flooded and advised them to construct buffer dams to hold such excess water. NIMA, in collaboration with other stakeholders, has undertaken the technical study of the lake. A buffer dam is being constructed by the federal government as a proactive measure to contain the effects of the lake's imminent collapse. Our biggest problem now is what to do about the communities around the River Banu in the event of the lake's collapse because there is no network of roads in the area," Elia said. However, we are discussing with other stakeholders that have expertise in road construction so that more pathways and escape routes can be constructed for the people. In furtherance of this, NAMI has engaged the services of the Office of the Surveyor General of the Federation to work on how escape routes could be constructed in the threatened communities in event of the lake's collapse. It will be recalled that Lake Nyos, which contains a large amount of carbon dioxide deposits, suddenly emitted a large cloud of carbon dioxide which suffocated an estimated 1,700 people and 3,500 livestock in 1986. Ailey disclosed that a degassing tube which siphoned water from the bottom layers of water to the top, to allow carbon dioxide to leak in safe quantities had been installed in 2001 to prevent a recurrence. He, however, stressed that additional tubes were still needed to make the legs safe.